and welcome to Alkisthis TV. I'm Alkisthis, your host, broadcasting to you from Athens, Greece. I have a passion for helping people transform their fear, frustration, anger, and anxiety into calm, confident, inner freedom. And this is all through the principles and practices of Greek philosophy. I teach Greek philosophy in a fun and entertaining way, in a simple way that everyone can understand it, especially my three-step method based on Aristotle, Socrates, and Plato. In this video, I will share with you some clips from recent speeches, seminars, and workshops, as well as television appearances, so that you too can invite me as a speaker or begin watching my channel on YouTube called Alkistis TV. I'd like to ask you an important question. Where do you see yourself five, 10, even 15 years into the future? Where will you be leading yourself and your team? Now, Socrates, one of the greatest Greek philosophers said that no man can lead others who cannot lead themselves. What is self-leadership? We talk about self-leadership, but let's be more specific. Self-leadership means having a developed sense of who you are, what you want, and why you want it, as well as having the ability to have a strategy of achieving the goal and to inspire yourself and others. As you can see, it is a complex set of skills. It's not that easy. Today, however, I'm going to show you a simple, powerful method of achieving your goals and navigating through your own odyssey with a compass, a GPS, if you will. First, I'd like to share with you a little of my story. I was the daughter of immigrants, Greek immigrants to Montreal. And my parents wanted to connect with my history and my heritage. So while other classmates were getting bedtime stories like Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty, my parents would read to me from the Iliad and the Odyssey, the Greek myths and Aesop's fables. Yes, that's because we all want a more fair system, a more just system, but what are we ourselves willing to do to make a change? Each citizen is responsible for what we call civil society. When we begin acting more ethically on our own, we can expect the system to change. So we spoke a lot about technology and I was particularly impressed by our last speaker. We speak a lot about science and technology engineering, but what about our own software? When was the last time you upgraded your own mental and physical software? Today I'm going to speak to you about Greek philosophy. How can you lead others when you can't handle your own anger, your own stress, your own insecurities? How I'm going to show you now a little video clip of Leonidas, king of the Spartans. Spartans! What is your profession? Okay, so all stand up with your book in your hand because we're going to take an oath. Commit to that statement, your positive affirmation that you wrote down. One, two, three. Ah we have to stand up for the values we believe in. Our policy is based on ethos. 
We have to fight, in other words, for truth and justice and virtue. When, you have, when you're about to make a big decision, you have to check with yourself. Is this aligned with my ethos? Are my values in this decision? In this case, we're going to look at how we can improve our presentation skills, our confidence skills, ultimately our leadership skills, because communication is what makes a leader a leader. As we said, Socrates used to just go up to people and ask them questions about their life and look at the lies we tell ourselves. Basically, I'm trying to find what are the lies we tell ourselves. And there's a lot of lies we tell ourselves. Just, let's just use this as an opportunity to go over one of your most frustrating thoughts that you have. Hey, this is Steve Wozniak. This Alkistis. You are a hero to me from fear to freedom. I hope you see me as a very good representative of your book. And um... We're going to be working through with this exercise. We're going to take like, it's going to be an exercise where we close our eyes. And I'm just basically going to ask you some questions regarding a specific thing that you're frustrated about. And we're going to work through it so that you passed, you, you get to pass through it. Would you like that? To pass through your frustration, get to the other side? As Plato taught, the first and most important victory is the victory over yourself. So today I'm going to be sharing with you one of the most effective ways to lead yourself based on three golden principles of Greek philosophy. It allows anyone like you and me to become great influencers. First, you have ethos at the top. A speaker who walks his talk, who has integrity, who speaks in truth, is very persuasive to the audience. In today's fast-paced, technological, consumer-driven society, people experience deep levels of anxiety. Having lost their religion to science, there's a real vacuum which Greek philosophy can fill. our guest speaker to you. I'd like to introduce Alkistis Ayoyiti. Good morning to all. Again, welcome to Athens, Greece. Um, we're going to have a very interesting speech today about the development of leadership from ancient Greek times to today. Anger and anxiety through Greek philosophy, Stoicism. Welcome, everybody, and I wanted to thank Dr. Fikas for inviting me to give the speech here uh, on Stoicism. Nowadays, Stoicism is becoming very popular. Today, more and more people are discovering Greek philosophy because people haven't changed in thousands of years. We still have the same insecurities and the same hopes and dreams. So join me in this journey of discovering Greek philosophy.